In this lesson, we're going to talk about fixing keystone distortion within the advanced edits of the guided section. We're still in chapter 6. So go ahead and click on the second photo here of this uh, nice artwork here, and then click on Fix Keystone Distortion. And we can see here on the right, it gives you a little example of what it is. You know, keystone distortion is when the vertical and or horizontal sides of a rectangular object are skewed in a photo. As you can see here, the um, building is supposed to be straight up, but it's tilting to the back. So we see some distortion there. So give you an example, and then they tell you some other interesting things about it. But go ahead and click Correct Camera Distortion. I have to convert it to 8 bits again. And you can see it opens up this into this humongous dialog box. If this grid bothers you, you can go down here and click Show Grid, and it'll take it away. But the grid is very useful to line up because, as you can see, we have straight lines horizontal, straight lines vertical, and we can see from this photo it's messed up. Okay. If you can change, if you want to change the color of the grid, you can do that. Let me hit cancel. Make sure you have preview on, and work from top to bottom. Okay. So first, we're going to remove the distortion of pin cushion and. Um, Barreling. So we're gonna move it. Let's see here. It looks like it's bloated. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the left. Oop, to the right. It's okay sometimes. And let's see here. Okay. If I do any more, it's gonna. Okay. I'm gonna skip over vignette because I don't have any edges here that, that need. I'll show you what that means. See, it takes away the darkness around the edges there. That's not my main problem. Let me put a zero. Let me click a uh, vertical perspective. Make it lean more up. Because this picture was a little bit off the ground, I had to angle the camera. So as you can tell here. Great. See the horizontal line at the top? It's lining up with that a little bit better. The sides are still off. Let me try the horizontal perspective. And try the angle. Oh, excuse me. Since this is fickle, because if you can move it a little, it goes crazy. I tend to like I tend to um, highlight it and then use the up and down arrows. You can press shift and use the up and down arrow, and it moves in ten increments. Yeah, as we can see here we got the horizontals nice, the vertical on this side is nice, but we got some issues over here on the right. So I'm going to go back up to the remove distortion and see if I can't maybe push that in just a little, mess with the vertical just a little bit more. Let's go to the angle. As you can see, this takes a little bit of patience. Now you can see it would have helped if I would have took the picture right the first time. There, just a little bit. Once you're happy with it, you go ahead and click OK. And there we go. And let's see the before and after. Look at the difference. Wow, this, <laughs> this is kind of amazing. OK, it probably still needs a little bit more touch up, as I can see over here, and maybe a little bit here. Um, but I do want to give you just a brief overview and see how far we've come. If you don't like it, you can click reset or cancel and then start all over again. So let me click done. And in the next lesson, we're going to talk about perfect portrait.